podcast and this video is a collaboration with programming knowledge. In this video, we'll talk about how we can implement a POST API in our Spring Boot REST API application. So in the previous video, we talked about how we can implement the GET API. So where we get all the to-dos from the server or we get a particular to-do which is by the ID from the server. So let's just refresh what we had done in the previous video now. So we had built a business service or a to-do service which handles all the business logic for our application. So for initially, we now have an in-memory database where we have objects inside an array, but later in the videos, we'll actually convert to a proper database and then we'll actually use the JPA APIs and etc. for our database. For now, we have a simple in-memory database and the logic for our APIs is here. So for getting all the to-dos, we just return all the array list and it is automatically converted into JSON when we return it back to the view. The next thing which we did was we uh, had implemented the get to do which uh, gives you a task based on the ID which is unique and we use streams filter to get it. So we had converted our array list to a stream, we filtered it by the ID which is equal to the ID given and then we got the first one which matched the ID. Now in this video we'll talk about how we can implement a POST API and what we have to do and the kind of business service that we have to write. So let's get started. So now uh, to do a POST API, uh, there are some changes which we need to do in the annotation for the request mapping. So let's see what that is now. So we need a request mapping because we need to map the request. So request mapping and we do and now instead of just this one, what we have to do first is we need to tell Spring Boot that this request mapping is a POST mapping and not a GET. So all of these are GET by default, but we need to specify uh, explicitly that this one is a POST method. So for that, we have an argument called as method. And all we have to do is uh, make it to the request method called as POST. So request method dot post and now the next thing which we need to do is pass in the url where we have to give us give out the post request that is going to be slash to do's only so let's see how this works now so now we have our usual uh, post method so public void uh, create to do and now we have a request body so we will have a request body where we actually pass in the json to create a to do and the json will contain the id name summary and description so here uh, we need a to do object called as to do to be passed into a parameter but the to do uh, has to be the request body. So we need to let Spring know that whenever you go on to slash to do and pass in a request body, that should be given to this method in the argument and this should also be the request body. So for this, we have an annotation called as request body, which makes it really easy to actually pass in these. So let's import these now. So we import request body and let's import request method and we're good to go. So let's see, invalid, oh sorry, the value is equal to this, yes. Yeah, and now all we have to do is call our service to handle the creation of the task for us. So we do a return to do service dot create to do and we pass in the object. Now, we haven't implemented our create to do fun uh, yet, so we need to do that now. And just so we are clear about the controller, we have a request mapping where the method is post. So it's pretty straightforward, right? So we have a post method, we have the value as slash to do's, but we are, will be having a request body to it. So the request body is a to do object, which will be written in JSON and uh, Spring automatically converts it to a pure Pojo. So we don't have to worry about that. And then we have 
a business service method here. So let's create that method now. So instead of object, we can have to do. So now here we will be implementing the logic for our create request. So we do a return to do dot add and we add the to do. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward for now. Nothing complicated. And uh, let's see what the problem is here. Oh, sorry, this is a void. My bad. And we don't have to return anything. We just have to create it. Yes, because the return value is void. We don't have to. Send. We, you can send in a boolean, so you can send in a true or false. Uh, so you can just check whether if the it is successfully created, so send a true, or if it is not, and if, if it actually raises some error, then do false. Then send a false. So we'll be adding a lot of validation to our request later in the videos. But for now, let's see how a simple post request works. So here, all we have to do is add a to do to our array list and that's it, we're done with creating to do's. So this is how you implement a post request in a Spring Boot application using the MVC framework. So let's refresh our memory and let's see what we have done here. So we have a controller, a to-do controller, which injects a to-do service and the service handles all the business logic for our application. Next, we have the request mappings for the URL. So what happens when we do a slash to-dos, we go to the uh, method get all to-dos, we call the service method, which is a singleton. So the service method returns all the to-dos which are inside this. So one, two, three. And next, we obtain one by the ID, which is a path variable integer ID. Then we go to get to-do and we have the logic here for it. The last thing which we do is create to-do. So we do a create to-do and we just add the to-do to our list. So let's run this and see if our post API is working properly or not. So for that, all you have to do is go to our to-do list and run as Java application. So the spring has been released to the server and should be up in no time. So just give it a few seconds and yeah, we're good to go. So now instead of using uh, the browser, we'll be using Postman. So Let's actually start using Postman now. So Postman is basically an API tool uh, or a software which can help you handle APIs properly. So you don't have to worry about using something else. So now that we have our server running, we have, can send a get request to Todos and hit send. And as you can see, we get our, uh, just it up. Yeah. we get our Todos here. Now let's, do a post request. So when we do a post request, we have to change a few things. So first we need to set the content type as JSON, uh, which tells that we're going to actually pass in a JSON object, a JavaScript object. And here I have a body. So since we only have three tasks in our to-dos, let's add a fourth one, which is uh, task four, summary four, description four, and we press send. And we don't need any, we don't return anything, but we get the status as 200. So let's do a get and see whether we have actually added our fourth one. So as you can see, we have the fourth ID here. So that means the fourth to do was added to our uh, list of tasks, and that can be confirmed with the body which is returned when you do a get. And yeah, so that is how you implement a post API in your Spring Boot application. And in the next video, we'll talk about how we can add or how we can update our uh, tasks and also delete our tasks. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.